Welcome back everyone. A Valley Group coming together to find a bone marrow match for a five-year-old girl in California who's suffering from a rare genetic disorder. As Team 12's Trisha Hendricks explains, it could be an uphill battle because people who have her genetic type are not represented in the worldwide registry. Meet Nora Gratz Lazarus. She's a beautiful little girl who loves to dance and play with her little brother Alice. You'd never know it, but underneath all the fun, she's suffering from a life threatening disease. Fanconi anemia, um, about four or five months ago. It's a rare genetic condition. The condition, common among Ashkenazi Jews, a population from Eastern Europe, impacts Nora's ability to make new blood cells. Her family comes from that Jewish population. Nora's mom, Rachel, did genetic testing while she was pregnant, but it didn't show anything. When Nora was a baby, she started losing her hearing. That's when doctors discovered she would need a bone marrow transplant to stay healthy. The word bone marrow is a hard thing for people to wrap their head around. It sounds like something invasive and intrusive, and in actuality, it's not. Since December 1st, 3,500 people have signed up to help Nora find a match. Okay. It starts with a simple painless cheek swab. Download an app, you answer a few questions, your name, your history, and then you um, fill out this form, swab your mouth, and stick it in the mail. Masha Rimler is bringing people together at Chabad of the East Valley to take part in the mission. You know, we're all just one big family, so we're doing the best that we can to try and reach out to as many Jewish people and get them enrolled in the bone marrow drive. Nora's aware she needs to keep her blood healthy. Blood is healthy, but well, in the future, mine she even has a website, NoraNeedsYou.com. Her mom says her life literally depends on the generosity of strangers. This kind of donation is something that I would feel comfortable being a mother of two children to do because I'm not going to suffer afterwards. All I can do is help. Along with thousands of people showing support for Nora and her family across the country. In Chandler, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.